Nice. All right, so coach, as I mentioned just off camera, you keep winning. I keep talking to you. And we're talking about another victory, this time over your rival, Georgia Southern, 2-0. Before we get to the specifics, just overall impressions of the team's performance in the win. Yeah, I don't think it was our sharpest of the season, but, um, you know, we did enough to, to get the first conference win, which is which is huge. You know, I do think it's uh, it's a good sign and an exciting sign that, um, you know, we can win some games and, and still feel like we have a little more to give. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll rest up today and, and have a really fast turnaround for, for Mercer tomorrow, um, you know, and see if we can put together a good performance. We spoke before the Southern game about these three matches in a seven day span or your, well, your match two of that span. Just how's the team physically holding up uh, through uh, this tough stretch for you? Yeah, I think we're a little heavy legged after yesterday. Um, you know, a lot of emotions put into, I think, conference games, but specifically when it's Georgia Southern, maybe a little bit more too. You know, so I do think there's some um, heavy legs and, and probably a little bit of heavy minds, um, you know, with turning around just 24 hours later, you know, today. We obviously played at 2 o'clock yesterday. So, you know, to be able to, to, to get prepared for a game on Tuesday, we'll, we'll certainly lean on, you know, the whole group that's, that's healthy um, and hopefully, you know, be able to um, – have, have something about us when we get out to the field. You know, we'll definitely be probably a little more uh, tired than we'd like to be, but, you know, that's just kind of the cards that were dealt this time. And I think we'll respond and react. And, and hopefully, as I mentioned, we can put together a good performance against a really good Mercer team. You get consistent goal scoring from Matthew Friendly and Iris Briggs. Uh, how is that for you, getting Matthew and Iris being able to uh, produce goals for you just so consistently so far this year? Yeah, I mean, I'd be lying to you if, if we didn't expect it to a certain extent. You know, Aris was able to score a lot of goals last year, and and so was Matt. You know, I think, um, you know, Aris kind of carried some of the notoriety because he scored a bit more goals. But, you know, we have a, a ton of faith in in Matt and, and his goal-scoring abilities and something that Aris has added to, you know, his repertoire this year is assists. You know, I think he's got three goals and three assists. And, you know, I think he only had two assists all of last year. So, you know, that certainly has helped us out. And, you know, Matt, I think he's got, I think that's three games in a row now where Matt scored. So um, not, not terribly sur surprised, but, you know, obviously to win games, you have to put the ball in the back of the net and, and hopefully those guys can consistently do it, you know, for the remainder of the season. And, and we've got a few other guys that, you know, we're confident can do the job as well. You change, he's multiple goalkeepers so far this year. Uh, Gunther has been playing recently, uh, got another clean sheet. Uh, what led to him just getting some playing time and what has he been able to do so well so far to lead the defensive unit? Yeah, no, I think we, we have a high belief in, in all our goalkeepers, you know, and with so many games in a short period of time, I think it's important just with, you know, rotating and, and keeping guys fresh and whether that be physically fresh and mentally fresh as well too. So, you know, I think it's been more of a collective effort, um, you know, with the team. We, we don't, defend specifically with just the goalkeeper or or the back line we we take a collective effort and pride in our defending so you know to be able to have two clean sheets in the last two games is um you know is really important and you know as they say if you don't get scored on you can't lose so um you know we uh we hope to to continue that that trend moving forward is that really is it more performance or rotation do you look further down the line and saying that as far as selecting your just a, not even you go just a goalkeeper, group, but the starting unit. Uh, how, what goes into that as far as in, in college soccer is different than professional soccer for some who are listening or watching. You have a little bit more substitutions uh, than the traditional three uh, that you would see on a professional uh, level. Oh, what goes into making that lineup? Do you look at the schedule? Do you see who can go with 45 or 50 or maybe have someone that you know is maybe a bit better in the second half? Uh, what's the approach to that? Yeah, probably all of that. Some of it, who we're playing against as well, too. What's the uh, what's the game? At least what do we think it's going to look like going into it? So some tactical decisions that come with that as well, too. Um, how well are guys playing? You know, we want to – college soccer a lot of times is so much about momentum. You know, there's, there's a lot of games in a close period of time. So sometimes, you know, momentum is a decision maker as well, too. So, yeah, there's a ton of different things that go into it. And – um, you know, the, the other side, too, is we want to continue to have um, a high level of competition within our team, you know. So, yeah, we preach that on a daily basis. And, um, you know, that obviously we see in training. And then when you have the opportunity to do it in the game, um, 
you know, that, that's sort of the time to shine as well too. But yeah, there's a ton of different factors that, that go into it. I, I wouldn't be able to just pinpoint one, um, you know, one decision making um, uh, thing to kind of answer that question. Have you had to maybe go a diff different route as far as maybe some guys not being able to recover as well because of the truncated preseason, or maybe some guys are better shape than you thought they would be. Has that been a factor as far as this point of the year, as far as guys, uh, physical fitness? Uh, no, actually, to be honest with you, the, that, ha that has helped us probably in a, in a, in a positive manner, um, you know, because we were able to come back and spend a little bit more time with the guys before we were playing games. So, I think once we got a few games under our belt, the match fitness is starting to catch up a little bit. But, you know, we had an actual, um, you know, month or so before we played any games. So the ability to get guys uh, physically fit, you know, I think was um, was a positive in that regard. You know, turning around and playing, you know, two games in three days is going to be difficult regardless of fitness level. So um, that's something that we'll have to be really conscious of and, and have some good communication with the guys today just about trying to understand where their bodies are and, you know, that will most likely, you know, result in um, some pretty good squad rotation throughout the game tomorrow. You know, as you mentioned, the substitutions are in this event, you know, a positive thing because, you know, guys can play maybe some smaller segments and, and then other ones can come in and play too. So, um, yeah, no, we're, we're fortunate that we, we've got a lot of confidence in, in the depth of our team, um, you know, and we'll have at least one player uh, coming back for the first time this season tomorrow too. So, you know, as we get some of these longer term injuries, uh, healed up. And I think that's only going to help us in terms of just overall depth and more bodies as we move forward. And the team you're facing tomorrow is Mercer. I guess you go for the unofficial Georgia championship if you, you beat them. But what about Mercer, a team that you, I'm sure you've seen quite a bit over the years and uh, what challenges they present and what you have to do well to emerge with the win? Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for Mercer as a program and a tremendous amount of respect for their coach. Um, I think they'll be prepared. You know, they haven't played for a little while. You know, whereas we're obviously coming off of a, uh, a game just yesterday. So I imagine they'll be up for it. I think they'll be prepared. Um, you know, they're they're always a team that, you know, physically is um, very combative. And um, I always have a high level of respect for how they compete each and every time they step on the field. So we'll have to play well. Um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly need to, to come out and um, perform at a high level if we're, uh, if we're wanting, which we are, to, to be able to get the win tomorrow.